role? Ano most challenging? Yes. Nakalabot ng parents mo. Hindi pa po. I'm sure they're magiging proud sila sa iyo. Ah, and knowing that Jelly is a very uh, an award-winning actress. Yes. Di ba? Nag-consult ka ba sa mga? Yes po, I, I actually did. I asked for advice sa mga um, ibang eksena kasi nga po. So this is a very challenging and um, intimidating project for me. Kaya talagang kabado ako kasi, as you can see, grabe yung cast, di ba? Very powerful. Um, pero sobrang grateful ako na po pinagkatiwalaan ako na ABS-CBN to do this. And I'm so blessed to be a part of this project. And um, uh, sobrang generous ako ba yung mga nakatrabaho ko, di ba? Si Pinay especially, sobrang kami naging close um, doing this show. And um, everybody, Tina Ruby, Paolo, Kim, J.M., Director, the director, FFR, they all really helped me and they guided me through this project. So, I'm very grateful. So, I'm very grateful. 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 I'm of course, to, to figure out where your character is coming from. Lagi, lagi ka dun babalik mo kung ano yung um, talagang needs or wants ng character mo. Yun yung dun ka babalik. Um, and also, she tells me to relax and not, not overthink. Kasi sabi niya, minsan yung mga ganun yun pa yung yun pa yung magkikreate ng mga problems so once you get on set. So sabi niya, you know, just relax. Um, you know your script. You know your character. Kaya mo yan. Mga ganun. Mga simpleng ganun lang ni Mama. Feeling ko marinig ko lang siya magsalita. Okay na talaga ako. <laughs> Kaya yun. Pero kaya na nahirapan ka ba dun sa scene na binugbog mo si uh, yung mga yung sakitan with kimchi? Opo. Challenging po okay. talaga. Paano nyo? Ano yung execute yun? O kaya nga. Um, Kasi talaga, grabe yung mo, base sa ano ah. Sasapalin kita o bubugugin kita, ganyan. Ah. Siyempre po talagang na, nakakatakot. Diba? Siyempre ayaw naman ako natin talagang makasakit. Um, and you know, si Ate Kim is such a professional. Like, she already knows this, diba? And um, like, nagsasorry din ako sa kanya before doing it and after. Kasi nga, siyempre, um, sabi nga ni Inay kanina, pag nadala ka ng emosyon, talagang minsan hindi mo na mga So I'm so happy kasi si Ate Kim was so professional about it. So nasaktan mo talaga si Kim, physically? Kumabot siya sa floor eh. Di ba hanggang floor siya eh. Abangan yun na lang din po. Pero yun, I mean, parang physical po yung excel. It's very physical. And we ex... It came out that way because she was also super professional and super generous with her acting. And... Okay kami. Okay kami talaga. And it was such a nice working with her. Gano'ng kinunan yung scene? Gano'ng kinunan yung scene? Hindi ko na rin po alam. Ah, matagal din? Hindi ko na rin po alam. I guess because, you know, it seems like that. I feel like um, it's also technically difficult. Kasi, you know, the movement and everything. There were several shots in the scene. So, um, hindi ko na rin po masabi kung, kung gano'ng po katagal din. So, nag-apologize ka after? Oo naman po. <laughs> kasi, syempre, hindi siya nasugatan. Kasi, umabot siya sa floor, eh. Diba? Talagang... Kulang na lang inudnud mo siya eh. Sabi na sabi naman po niya, hindi po. Tatanungin ko po siya ulit mamaya. Kaya laki yung inudnud si Kim. Hindi naman. Kasi you know, you started out para model, model. And then, is that parang yun yung ano matalaga? Parang yung pagpunta. Pagpunta ka yung spa. It was your choice na parang model, model. Mag-model. Hahaha. Paano ko ma-relate? Ako sobra akong nakaka-relate dun sa karakter ni Kim, ni Diana. Kasi pag nag-nihilin lang ka, doon na siya nanihilin lang. Tapos later on siya na yung nanihilin lang. Pag ikaw na yung nanihilin lang, bulag ka, hindi mo agad nakikita. Para malabo ang matang mo, ang paningin mo. And you keep on continuing and trying to seek the truth na hindi naman siguro deserve siya dito. Hindi naman siguro pag-uwili ba. Yun. Kaya sobrang bumili pa ko kay Kim at her age kung paano niya uh, isinabuhay yung ganong klase ng uh, emosyon so much maturity. Thank you.
Okay. Uh, okay. Would that, uh, the, rest, the rest of the cast may gusto to share about sa din lang. The experience mo na ba yung real life? Yeah. N exactly what na experience ah. Uh, uh, sa pagkakalak eh. Parang ano, pag may in-order ka online, tapos mali yung dumating. Yun yung una ko naiisip pag pag-in-order. Sa lighter side naman yun. Pero sa love life, never pa naman. Ayan. Alalahanin ko lang po yung mga pangyayari. Alang oras. Nakalimutan ko na po si lahat before pandemic. No need to mention any names naman. Pero hanggang kailan mo kayang itolerate? Ako? Parang hindi na. Parang well with everything I've experienced in my life, if it happens to me at this point, parang ano na, parang move on na. Parang just stop and move on. Baka naman masaya siya sa iba or ano. Hindi mo na ilalaban, you walk away na lang. Hindi na siguro, unless may importanteng kailangan ipaglaban. Okay. Yes ko na rin po yun. I think, especially because of my character here, na-realize ko na napakahirap to decide when to walk away. I feel like that's the most difficult. Kasi syempre, pag mahal mo yung tao, you always give them the benefit of the doubt and you always see the good in them first and you hope na um, ipaglalaban ka nila, di ba? But, um, yun nga, I feel like sa kahit na medyo bata-bata pa naman ako, <laughs> um, I feel like with things that I've experienced also, I've always, and my, my parents have always taught me, my mom has always taught me to choose myself first. So, ayun. Okay, thank you.